hello. Whatever is holding you back from getting what God has for you, I'm here to tell you, don't do it in 2025. 2025, just think about the number 25. It is like a century, like time, like in a time capsule when I think of 25. 25, 25, anytime you get to that 25, it is something that it's like a restart. It's like a rejuvenation. It's like a, a motivation. It's like it's like you owe something to yourself. Like like you want to buy a Birkin bag or you want to buy a coach bag, whatever bag you like, Gucci, whatever. You just want to treat yourself kind of like for, it's like a birthday. For me, it is going to be 52 in 25 i'm doing numbers right now y'all come on somebody come on somebody and yes i will be doing a number at the corner store in 2025 i ain't never played numbers before in my life but 2025 i've been doing some numbers because i'll be 52 the lord let me live it'll be 20 the year 25 come on somebody come on somebody and i'm not taking that lightly I'm not taking that lightly. You all will see, you see me, but you will see me in a light. It's going to be like a light shining, like something is over my head, like a halo almost from the Lord. Because it's like to reach the year 2025, and I don't care how old you are or what your situation is, it is phenomenal. Don't take it for granted what we've been to walk into. I'm not concerned about this worldly stuff, what's going on around us. I'm not concerned about that. I'm, I'm more so in the spirit realm right now. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of our lives, minds, yours, it's going to change. It's going to change for the better. It's going to change for the better because we're going to want change. Because change does not happen unless you want change to happen. Let's be clear. Change does not happen unless you want change to happen. I've been telling women i have a women's ministry called the sister circle network i have been talking to women for over 20 years my mother had a ministry in women and i was always at her groups like so so pretty much all my life i've been in motivational inspirational women's groups and now i have formed my own and i'm telling you change is good Sometimes you think you moving down in life. You're like, oh, I done did all this and I find myself moving backwards. Why me? Let me tell you something. I have had to move down in life to get back up in life. Sometimes moving down is up, okay? So don't beat yourself up. If you're on the right path and you're doing the right things by your life and just life happens. I call it life be life, and right? When life starts lifing, you're still good because you're still you. As long as you're in your right mind, as long as you have the will to get up in the morning and move around and your health, you're still you. you still that baddie. you still that beast and beauty and beast mode. Come on, somebody. Let me... Uh, hey. 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 you still that beauty and beast mode. Huh, I don't wear this brand for nothing. I don't wear this brand for nothing. Let me show you. I'm not playing. You still the beauty and beast mode. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, you're beauty and be small. When you when you feed your kids, you have the ability to feed your children at night and get alone yourself. So you feed yourself and your children at night. Dinner. You went to work. So you maybe drove a car or some type of transportation throughout the day. You paid for that. You ate lunch somewhere. If you didn't, that's because it was your choice. So you was able to take a shower or a bath or brush your teeth this morning. 
Shoot, you winning. Think about how many people did that. Think about how many people had to have help doing those things. How many people got a phone call, can I borrow $5, but it wasn't you asking for no money today? Been there, done that. The last time I asked to borrow money, it was my mama. And she told me no. And she didn't tell me no because she didn't have it. She told me no because she said, daughter, if I keep giving you money, you ain't going to never have your own. If I keep giving you money, you're going to always feel like, oh, I'll go get it from my mama. My mother told me, start having your own money. If you rent a $1,000, have $3,000 set aside for emergency. If your, if your light bill $200, have three light bills set aside in case of emergency. Because them the, them the two things you need, a roof over your head and, and some electricity. You can, you can make it with the rest. And if you ain't doing that, you should start because that's what helped me. Somebody told me, no. You have to live your life for you. Live in your means. Take care of your kids. You know why the men are attracted to you? Because they see you taking care of somebody. Oh, she could take care of herself. She got her own crib. I don't care where it come from. Section 8 or not. Uh, Self-employed or not. Employment or not. You got it. They ain't got it. Men be looking for what we looking for. Somebody to help. They see you. Oh, she got two or three kids. She got her own crib. She got a car. I'm going over there with her. And we ain't got the common sense to even think how they think. And then we hurt. What you hurt for? You dated a scrub. And you ain't a scrub. You not a scrub, but you dated a scrub. How does that work? Let's start dating and getting on the levels of where we at. Can you meet me where I'm at, sir, ma'am? If you can't meet me where I'm at, um, I'm going to have to take a pause and, and, and just get a little Zaxby's and we're going to keep it mutual and I'll holler at you. But when you're trying to have something with me and all this hand at him, we, we, we need to meet each other somewhere. We need to have the financial conversation. Let's, let's grow up. It's time to grow up. Y'all parents, grow up. What the kids going to have to learn from if you ain't showing them nothing? I'll see y'all tomorrow.